Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here as ever. We are working on a sword breaker. Sword breaker is a weapon that was traditionally held in the left hand of a Renaissance era uh, dueling person with the swordy things and the pointy and the and the stabby stabby. It was used to be able to capture the opponent's blade, push it off to the side as you come in with the uh, with the final blow. In the right hand, it is a terrifying weapon, not just in how it looks, but also in how daunting it is already being to make. Those teeth. Will, right now, is actually going to go and borrow a piece of equipment from a friend of ours, a die filer, because making those teeth is proving to be very, very difficult. Before we jump into the video and what I'm gonna do, I'd like to quickly thank today's sponsor, which is GlassesUSA.com. GlassesUSA.com allows you to save up to 70% off of retail prices by cutting out the middleman. Their mission is to make buying glasses as easy as possible. They have over 4,000 frames to choose from on their online store. It's as simple as clicking the link in the description below. Then using their virtual try-on feature to try on the the glasses that you think you like. Super cool. You can take a photo of yourself with your webcam, upload it into the software, you see the frames on your face. It's very cool. It means that you can pick a pair of glasses that you're gonna enjoy from the comfort of your living room. And just bear in mind, frames and prescription lenses start at just $30. It is unbelievable how inexpensive it is. And the best part is it is risk-free because they have free shipping and returns, a 100% money-back guarantee and a one-year warranty. It's fantastic. So thank you to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. And hint, these are the Westons in Tortoise. And they're my favorite pair. We'll show you another couple of those pairs at the end of the video, but we're gonna jump right in. This is going to be the guard of the sword breaker. This is made from some 1018 steel. I forged it yesterday, but we are close and without cigars because there is an eighth of an inch of material. I need to push it out this way. So that's the port of call. That's what I'm gonna get up to right now. So it's back in the forge. So I'm gonna interrupt us right now and I'm gonna show you some of the pairs of glasses that our sponsor today, GlassesUSA.com, has sent us. Now the pair that I wear all the time are these Westons in Tortoise from Glasses USA. I absolutely love them. It's a really nice light pair of glasses. You don't feel like you're wearing them. And the best thing is they're very inexpensive for the quality. I'm also a huge fan of the Westons in black. These are my backup in case I crush the Tortoise color ones. But have a look at these Wentworth glasses. The Miles in blue or the Muse M8. 8010. The choices are enormous with GlassesUSA.com. And don't forget, they don't just do prescription normal glasses, they do prescription sunglasses too, like these Ray-Ban Outdoorsmen. I always wanted a pair of Ray-Bans, but I could never find a pair that would allow me to see anything through them. These do, as well as these Ototo sunglasses, another favorite of mine. So big thank you again to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. Make sure that you go to my link in the description at the end of this video to get yourself a special deal from GlassesUSA.com. Thank you GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. We're gonna jump back into it. So Will just pulled up. It's looking really good. This right here is a die filer. Uh, basically, there's a little file up there that travels up and down and does all the filing for you. Oh, you weren't lying, that is heavy. Uh -oh. Cool. Wow. Perfect. Getting it totally squared up. All right, that's pretty damn good. Little air hose for blowing away Debris. Exactly. Oh! Will was telling me that the friend that we lend this from um, was talking about how you can pinch yourself with this because <laughs> as in on the upstroke, the file lifts up the workpiece. On the downstroke, it slaps it down and an ouch, that would be a bad time. Yes, so. that's why I'm holding it. I wonder if there's like a, yeah, yeah he's, ha he's holding up his fingers on top, but I wonder if there's a technique to stopping it binding. 
Because it probably wants to cut on the downstroke, right? Yes. So I wonder if maybe it's like a type of thing of little pressure on and off type of thing. Maybe. <laughs> Too hard to time it. Well, it certainly works. So while Will keeps working on this, I'm gonna start grinding the guard. How's it going, Will? It's going well. Good tool, helpful to have. Unbelievable. Really? I'm really angry that I didn't pick that up yesterday. Oh yeah, this looks crispy. It's, it's looking a lot better than it was. I'm gonna switch out for a triangle file and start cutting out the kind of reverse whale tail shape in there. Wait, how do you change the files on this? There's a set screw down here. And you just take that out and you plop it out. And then you put in the new one. You could just put in any file. Has to be a specific. Oh, he lent us files. Yes, die filers files too. So there's just a round hole in there, held with a set screw. Mm -hmm. That's in there. Change it out, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Exactly. We could probably make our own files. We probably could. Because you just take a triangle file and grind it round. Okay guys, so I had a little issue, I kind of waited a little bit to talk about it to see how it played out, but as I was bringing down the spines of the teeth here, they got a little bit lower than the back of this ricasso, so we're just going to bring that ricasso down as, as well as bring that tip to a point where it meets uh, that little last spine there. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into the grinding room, grind it down just a little bit, about 50 thousandths of an inch or so, and we'll get back to die filing. So while Will is working on the teeth, it is now back onto the guard for me. In case you haven't realized, this episode was split in two because we enjoyed celebrating an awesome 4th of July and so we went and celebrated Independence Day. I hope everybody had a great 4th of July, phenomenal Independence Day. I just felt so grateful to be here and uh, be sure to check out my Instagram if you want to see me running around with the beautiful American flag in the parking lot here. It felt great. But anyway, we are now back on the guard. I'm going to stick on the paper, maybe, or not. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work out what I'm gonna do, and then you're gonna see it. Hopping back in here to chat because Will and I each have problems. My piece of steel doesn't fit the drawing on top of it. Will has a problem with the teeth not all being the same size. It still does not look very good. Still doesn't work. I can't get this nib out of there. So I still don't have it in the steel. You know, I think kind of what happened is I just forgot there was this protrusion here and I've just oversized the hole because I don't think I'm gonna get that out of there. Looks like I'm doing some more forging. Lucky you. Yeah. Unless you want to trade jobs, I can give this a shot and you can play with that. Time to summon some energy and cut some hot steel.
So close. False hope. Because that needs to be that needs to be flat. I know. I think if we bend these back out a little bit, we got plenty of width this way and that way. So we could put the round drift in, go even larger just a little, squish it down some more. Have a look at how brilliant the teeth that Will has been working on are looking. All of these are looking just brilliant. He's started the chamfering up here. Everything looks even and neat. And this is just turning into such a good project. So Will, great job, you're doing a good job. Thank you! I forged this piece out again, and uh, sadly, I'm still not entirely sure that this is going to work. So, make sure that you stay tuned for the next episode tomorrow, because we are wrapping it up and calling it a day for this episode. Thank you guys so much for coming along. I cannot wait to see what this sword breaker becomes. It's been a pleasure as always. Be sure, of course, check out GlassesUSA.com today's sponsor. Get yourself a good deal on a great pair of glasses. It's been a pleasure as always. Bye-bye.